Let's play Spot the Differences. What's new here? Ready, go. Just kidding, they look the same. And yet still, this keyboard is the most interesting thing about the pumped up new MacBook Pro. In general, I think a keyboard is way more important to how most people work than a processor bump. Apple really only made one change to this, the third generation of its so-called butterfly keyboard. Well, two if you count changing one of the symbols for some reason. But the real change is under the keys. Since these new pros cost at least $1,800 and I have to pay rent later this month, I didn't want to open the thing up myself. So instead I went to iFixit, a company that helps people fix their stuff and often tears apart important gadgets just to see how repairable they are. First, a really quick keyboard history lesson. So for decades, most keyboards had actual mechanical switches underneath the keys, which went up and down every time you pressed a key. That's why they feel so good and clicky, but also why they're heavy and huge. But this keyboard is actually thicker than my laptop. So manufacturers looked for thinner ways, like dome switch keyboards, which have a little rubber cap you push down on. Apple for a long time used scissor switch keyboards, which have two crisscrossing pieces that fold together when you press the key down. But then, for its new computers, starting in 2015 with the super thin MacBook, Apple created the butterfly mechanism. Instead of two parts that fold down, it's more like wings flapping up and down as you press the keys. When you type, the keys themselves hardly move at all. While Apple says most people love the butterfly keyboard, some people have had issues with it. Things as small as a piece of dust can break the keys. There's even a class action lawsuit in progress against Apple. For this new next-gen keyboard, all Apple says is that it's quieter than the last one. But when iFixit took apart this new MacBook Pro, they found a strange new thing. Apple added a thin layer of silicone underneath the keys. Here's the weird part. Apple received a patent in 2016 for a very similar silicone mechanism, and it described it in the application as a way to prevent and or alleviate contaminant ingress, which means in English, keep crap out and get it out if it gets in. In their tests, the iFixit folks found it does indeed help keep junk out. They also noticed the hooks that keep the keys on are a little stronger, so it might be easier to remove a key and clean it. It's definitely an improvement. It's just too bad Apple isn't putting this latest keyboard into any of the more affordable MacBooks it sells. It is also quieter, by the way. It's not like it's completely silent, but I do notice the difference. Here, listen. I still don't love these MacBook keyboards. I mean, they're fine, but I still prefer Google's Pixelbook or Microsoft Surface, and even most Mac keyboard accessories have a more satisfying thunk when you hit a key. But if you do get this new MacBook Pro, or one of the other models Apple's likely launching later this year, you can at least feel a little safer eating Cheetos at work. And that is what I call an upgrade.